I have told many people it's a mockery. It's a mockery because there's not, nothing to celebrate. It's unfortunate. See, Nigeria is not doing well. Let's look at, for instance, now, a banker friend of mine told me that the forex that is being given to banks every two weeks by the CBN is being hijacked by the high by by the high money. So you go to the bank, you cannot buy forex. They said you go to the black to, to the black market. So Nigeria is not doing well. If we want to do well, we need to first and foremost check corruption. If you can't check corruption, you can't make progress. If we are spending more than we earn, which is very bad. We have a country that has fuel, which we are buying fuel over a thousand naira. We are not doing better. Nigeria at 64, well, you know, for different people, it's different things. You know, if you are a part of the system, you will say that Nigeria is doing very, very well. But if you are not a part of the system, or even if you are a part of the system, but you want to change the system, you will say that Nigeria is not doing as well as it should be. We can have a situation whereby we are supposed to progress, but we are retrogressing. You know, you can't, now, how are we retrogressing? You can't have a scenario where 10 years ago you, you were able to afford um, a bag of rice, and today you cannot afford a bag of rice. That's not progress. Our life should be better instead of going backwards. Because I overheard somebody yesterday preaching on the screen, he was making reference to the medical college of the University of Ibadan, years back, when Indians used to come, you know, for training in the institution. Today now we are going to India for medical aids, for people who have acute cases. Whereas uh, our school still remains like a monument. In service delivery, we are nowhere to be found. I see it, that we are not sincere with ourselves, we are not earnest enough. That is why things are where they are. It's not capacity, it's not intelligence, it's not finances. So, we should be, if we are able to address the issue of sincerity, we'll be able to move forward. We are, we are, we are wired as champions, as a people called Nigerians. But the head is where the problem lies. Admitted by the president in his speech yesterday, yeah. um, yes, uh, where uh, Nigeria is not uh, making so much progress in terms of compared with the H64. However, in terms of achievement, uh, don't bear in mind that we, we are in a country who is in abundance in terms of human resources and natural resources. So this is not the kind of thing we're supposed to be having by this kind of time, particularly looking into the per capita income of the citizen. It is so low compared to the other countries that has lower, even lower than the human and capital resources that we had. Going by this, so we are retrogressing. However, hopes are ahead because we are looking forward to having quality leaders who will now move Nigeria to where it ought to be. We look at the area of minimum wage. I can mention minimum wage now. We are our staff, our government workers are collecting minimum wage of. 70,000 naira, which a bag of rice is more than minimum wage. We are, they are selling a bag of rice, it's almost 100k. 9, 94,500 naira today. So to me, I think we are still far backward. We are not moving forward as a country.